G'day guys and welcome to this week's episode of Just The Tip. This week on Just The Tip, I have learnt something new and I am super excited about it. Now this may seem like a no-brainer to those of you who are electrical gurus, which is definitely not me. But as a very budget oriented channel uh, person, everything is super budget um, when it counts. So don't get me wrong. Um, if I know quality, I'm happy to pay the money. It's not like I'm tight. I just, everything is thought out. Okay, so this is the Doom Sled. I built this car uh, about five or six years ago and it's been on air ride for that long. And I don't know, air ride system in the back. I used all the good stuff. I used AccuAir. The kit here is probably worth four and a half grand worth of air ride system in it. So it's high end stuff. At the time, when I done all the wiring, I used real heavy duty thick gauge wire, as you can see here. And uh, although they're power wires, I just run them in black, just so they're a bit more stealth. Um, but they're heavy core wire. Now at the time, I remember looking up um, wiring prices and it was stupidly expensive to run all the cable in this car because I run a second battery because I wanted plenty of power. So I've had to run power from the front to the back. So overall, I can't remember the amount of meterage, but there was a lot of meters in wire and it was going to cost me a lot of money. It was literally cheaper to buy a set of 200 amp jumper leads, which is what I worked out what I needed was 200 amp. Um, to allow for the voltage drop from the distance that I was running, which, mind you, is only about a metre and a half to two metres max. By the time we get from this battery around to the, um, the pickup point is only less than two metres. And I've been chasing an issue with this car for years where the ECU will drop if it's the actual air ride ECU will drop below 10.5 volts, it'll automatically cut off to save the ECU. And this thing will cut in and out all the time and it does my head in. We've just worked out, I ran a second cable, this red cable, and solved the problem. Now mind you, this cable here is about six meters long. I've removed the two meters of budget jumper cord, 200 amp stuff, and I've plugged in this six meter length of quality cable, problem solved. So in this case, it is 100% quality, you get what you pay for. So cheap jumper leads advertised at 200 amps, I guarantee are not 200 amps because they are losing power over that short distance. This is over three times longer quality, and to be honest with you, it's probably thinner but for some reason the cable is much better quality. It is holding the voltage throughout the whole distance and the ECU is staying above 10 and a half volts. Yeah, 10 and a half volts. So anyway, that's it. This is a rare occasion where I've literally proven quality over the cheap stuff. So um, if you know of any stuff that you have seen a distinct difference between cheap stuff and quality stuff i'd love to hear it hit me up in the comments below um electrical guru guys are probably looking at me going duh but i don't know this stuff so i've learned that tonight very happy so um wire ain't wire um yeah hit subscribe hit the like button leave me a comment check out the online store and i'll see you all next week cheers guys just the tip